Hello Pisces, welcome back to the Lynx Tarot. This is Monica and this reading is for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April or the next 30 days. All of my readings are timeless. We're jumping in here with the Spirit of the Animals. Awesome, you got the Squirrel and Always Prepared. You are the expert of hard work and hard play. Your cheerful and fun disposition is a blessing to everyone. Don't let life's distractions take you off course. Make a plan for the future and life will give you all you need. Yes, and avoid those distractions, okay? You have a plan, stick with it. Awesome, Pisces, I love that. And I love squirrels, in case, in case you didn't know that about me. I love squirrels and I have squirrel friends that come to my door. Okay, so let's go over here to the Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle. All these decks are pre-shuffled, by the way. And this is a big deck, so I'm just going to cut. We have Education and 43, and that breaks down to 7. Education is an important part of your soul's development at this time. Yes, so this reading is covering money, career, love, and any spirit messages that want to come through, okay? Education is going to help in all of those areas, okay? Definitely with your career and money-making capabilities, this could be an increase in how much money you can earn getting more education. Um, I feel like love is a component here too somehow. Okay, maybe you're meeting somebody that's also taking a course that you, you are taking, whether it's in person or online. Maybe you're teaching, maybe you and a, a student, an adult student, of course, like um, hit it off and after the course is over or whatever, you stay in touch when it's appropriate, blah, 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 blah. Like somehow education is going to help you. I feel like um, you might meet someone who is in your field they may not be a colleague, but it feels like they are, but they're not. They're in your field and you have a lot in common and um, your work is your passion and it means a lot to you that the same goes for this other person and a little love connection might spark there. It's 43. That breaks down to seven if you like numerology. And here we have 64, which breaks down to 10. Seeker of truth. You can feel the hidden truth behind your circumstances. Oh, that is pretty deep. Okay, so there is a hidden truth you are aware of on some level. Go deeper. Think think about that more. Feel it out more, okay? Because you are right, okay? You feel something, and you are right, and you need to explore this a little bit more. We have 55, entrepreneur, yeah. Be on the lookout for exciting business opportunities to unfold. Yes, there are opportunities for you, Pisces. I've been feeling this for you for a while. Um, chances to advance in your career. It could be with the company that you're currently with um, or, or a different company or if you have your own business. Um, I mean, this is an entrepreneur card, but it could be you know any kind of work. The energy I'm getting. Okay, there's new business opportunities. It's like um, not really that the sky is the limit, but there are choices coming up for you and you're going to have to decide on something, um, explore something and be careful not to lose your opportunity because it's coming up. Explore it. Ask some questions. Seeker of truth. Okay, um, get all of the details. You might be getting some kind of um, certification that will be required to jump to the next salary range. That's for somebody, not everybody, of course. Okay, so this is the Guardian Angel Messages Tarot. All decks are listed below, and if you're interested in a private reading, my email is below in the description and also a pinned comment. So email me directly and I will get back to you with information on private readings. Okay, we have the magician. So you could be dealing with a Gemini. Manifestation, empowerment, and preparedness. Yeah, so um, being prepared. Oh yeah, with the squirrel card, always being prepared. Okay, don't be distracted. You have this under control. Don't let anything distract you. If something does turn up that is distracting, realize that's a red flag. Like, aha, like, why does this person always turn up when I'm on a roll in life? And this person also happens to not want me to get ahead in life. How do they know when to pop up? It's kind of scary. 
because they have no reason to know when to pop up and mess with your life. There's no way they could possibly know how good things are going for you. But for some strange reason, that's when they usually pop up and they want to drag you down. And just don't share with them the good things that are going on in your life. Whatever you do, don't do that. And maybe don't respond to them at all. Oops. Too many. All right. Bear with me. So strong manifestation here. Self-empowerment. Being prepared. Prepared to accept all of these good things, being prepared with the right questions. So you learn all about this new job, this new job position, or this new element that you want to add to your own business. Learn everything that you can. Ask the right questions. Um, you just don't let anything throw you off course here because you're getting ready to really take off. The floodgates are about to open. Okay, we have the Hermit. So there could be a Virgo in your life and there could also be strong Virgo in your chart. Not for everyone, okay, just take what resonates. Introspection, self-discovery, and mentorship. So here with the Seeker of Truth, okay, you, see, you feel the hidden truth behind your circumstances, okay? So the Hermit is about your wisdom. Looking back, like, did you, did you already learn this lesson? Do you already know? Does this feel familiar? Do you want to go there again? Or do you want to move on with your newfound wisdom? And just don't play that game, okay? You're not up for that, right? You seek the truth, not, not the denial that someone else wants you to live in with them. And with the Knight of Water, romantic emotional, dramatic, okay? So this could represent another water sign. Um, this could represent love in your life or just peaceful communications with others. All right, so let's go over to the Tarot of a Moon Garden. Sorry about that. I'm just trying to wipe off all the little things on this cloth. It's so beautiful, but it really attracts kitty fur and I don't know what that is, <laughs> a piece of lint. Okay, so this is the Tarot of a Moon Garden. Really beautiful deck. All right, so let's clarify further for Pisces. I feel like there's something that you're learning that you're really excited about, Pisces. All right, the Magician is being clarified by the King of Swords. You're becoming an authority in something. You may already be an authority in something, but you're getting additional certifications okay to expand your credibility the hermit is being clarified by the queen of cups here's your intuition okay seeker of truth your intuition and the hermit too is telling you you need time for introspection okay it's going to bring you peace clarity make sense of things okay don't be around other people's energy and chaos too much if you have to deal with it during the work day right there are ways to minimize that but when you're home have some quiet time. Don't have the TV up too loud. Don't have your phone ringer up too loud. Be more chill or intend to be more chill. Don't constantly be texting people. It's too much stimulation, too much energy exchange. So you need some time away from that. Okay. So entrepreneur, knight of water is being clarified by the devil. So be careful of negative ego and self-doubt. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Be careful of negative ego, self-doubt, and someone who is trying to get you to look at life with rose-colored glasses trying to get you to look at the past with rose-colored glasses like oh we had such good times oh we were there for each other through so much when in reality you would be like what we were what are you talking about it wasn't like that it wasn't all roses it was pretty bad but this person is trying to like guilt you into saying oh but you know we meant so much to one another or whatever and suck you back in like you don't even need to respond to this person in the first place to get sucked back in Okay, so the Magician, King of Swords, is being clarified by the Six of Pentacles. Here's proper balance, proper payment, advancement in your work, making more money. 
okay and we have the hermit the queen of cups and the knight of cups so we have the knight of cups twice here so here's this romantic dreamer person okay so this could be a good thing in some instances someone wants to woo you um, go with your intuition go with your gut um, if this is someone from the past i'm not feeling it i'm feeling like look out they're trying to entice you with this like false like rose colored glasses business here all right so the knight of cups in this row with the devil and we have temperance okay balance this out you could be dealing with the sagittarius but not necessarily but this is about balance this and we have balance twice here okay and do we have, no, we didn't have justice, but we have the importance of balance here, okay? So it's time for you to succeed in your career, whatever you do, start making money the way you want to make money, have that security that you dream of, that you want to have. Um, Temperance is telling me that someone is really um, either testing you or they're gonna have a temper tantrum when you reject them. So just be aware of that. And um, there are ways to avoid it from escalating to that point all right so let's go over here to this cute little kitty oracle all decks are listed below i think i mentioned that a couple times already and please excuse my distraction i heard some other noises outside but hopefully all you hear is this reading okay did i mention to you sorry again yeah, I did. Um, readings are open, and also if you'd like to become a Lynx Cub member, you can hit the join button and follow the prompts, and that would support the channel, and we'd have some fun things to do together once I have enough members. So I will be posting members-only trivia questions and some fun stuff like that. Okay, be adventurous. Try something new. Another water sign just got that, I think. Don't hold me to that. Aw, indulge yourself. Give yourself a treat beautiful sphinx cat i think that's a sphinx and we have watch out aha be extra cautious now right here in this row with the devil and that rose colored glasses person that uh temperance card and i'm getting with that is temperament somebody else's temperament it's like they're like come on pisces we were so close before let's be friends again or let's go out again and you're like what you make no sense and then once you keep your distance or set those boundaries they have a fit like a full-blown temper tantrum and this is saying watch out you know be extra cautious okay so let this be your caution to just tread lightly with this situation maybe just maybe you just don't even answer the person because it's probably not like you're hurting anything because I feel like this is someone you don't typically converse with in any way anymore. So if that makes sense, Pisces, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for tolerating any outside background noise during this reading. Please watch out for the daily inspiration readings. There are tons of them. So you can click on the videos tab and just pick through whichever ones your intuition are drawing you to. Every reading is timeless, so those are really um, coming out pretty good. I'm getting some really deep messages with those daily inspirations. So um, if you wish, um, check those out, and I think that's it for the messages today. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you again soon.